56. He's obviously... Market. Market in play. ...leads, naturally, from King Frankel in second place. Then Peter the Great, just in behind him in third. King of Clubs is well away. And then Fox's Tails towards the inside. Lord Protector on the outer, followed by uh, the likes of King Frankel and Dubai Honor, who are racing together around this bend. Uh, after these, and just caught a little bit on heels there was Inigo Jones. Had to just rein back. Highland Rocker and Too Friendly are other runners towards the back end of the field. But it is Headingley striding on with a purpose here. Headingley has gone some three to four lengths clear over King of Clubs in second place. They're followed through by Fox's Tails, the Royal Ascot winner in third position. Peter the Great edging a little bit closer on his outside. Six furlongs left to run. Headingley still got a decent looking lead. Dubai Honor and King Frankel still race together with King Frankel just nudged along on the wide outside flank. Inigo Jones, having had those early traffic problems, now sits directly behind Fox's tails on the running rail. And the back three are Lord Protector, Highland Rocker, and last of all is Too Friendly. They've got half a mile now left to go in the Bet365 handicap, and Headingley still holds this four-length advantage over the field. King of Clubs in second, but Peter the Great now just moving a little bit closer as Fox's Tails comes under pressure, Headingley now coming right back to them. Just in behind those leaders, Dubai Honor is followed by Lord Protector. King Frankel's dropped away very disappointingly indeed. Inigo Jones is looking for a run through from the back end of the field. Highland Rocker and Too Friendly both try to improve. The race on for home here. It's all change up front. Fox's Tails against the near side rail. Chase now by Dubai Honor out in the middle of the track. Peter the Great now floundering in behind them a little bit as they lock horns these two up front. Fox's Tails. Market. Market in play. Slow and it's Multelli who is pushed along early by David Allen to take the early lead on the inside. Noble Masquerade. To take third as they race on now down the back straight and racing on inside the final mile and a quarter. And it's Multelli who has the lead and just a kink, a jinked a little bit away on that kink. In second place now, races Noble Masquerade. In third is Anything Today. And then in fourth, Carlos Felix. And then towards the inside rail is Cormier. Cormier followed by Bolin Joe. Then around the outside is Galley Derm. Galley Derm a little deep out on the track. Towards the inside is Eagle Court. And the slow starting Toronto is now keen at the back of the field and he's 10 lengths off the leader who is Multelli, the 11 times career winner who has the lead now of around about three lengths as they make the run on inside the final seven furlongs. And it's Multelli out clear to Noble Masquerade racing in second. Anything today is in third and Cormier is racing in fourth alongside Carlos Felix on that one's outside. Galley Derm has never got in. Three deep on the track. Held out wide by Bolling Joan and Eagle Court and still at the back of the field is Toronto and they've gone through the halfway point and now they race on towards the final five furlongs and Multelli still has the lead. And it's still three. Oakley, Oakley. Noble Masquerade who races in second. Anything today is in third. Cormier, the red cap, to the inside rail of Carlos Felix. They're in a share now of fourth and fifth. Galley Derm around the outside of Bolling Joan, who's been held together around the turn. On the inside is Eagle Court, and still in the cheap seats is Toronto, and they're racing down towards the final three, and they're coming down the centre of the course, and Multelli plays the hare, out in front by two lengths, to Noble Masquerade in no! second. Cormier travels well on the outside of anything today. Down the wide outside, Bolling Joan in the Royal Blue is picking up as well. Many have travelled well to this point. They're inside the final two furlongs. Noble Masquerade has the lead, but for how long? Here's Bolling Joan pouncing on the outside of Cormier, and also anything today from a long way back. Toronto begins to surge. Now they're inside the final furlong. I'm out of here, man. Cormier, who just has the lead over Bolling Joan. Anything today, and Noble Masquerade trying to fight back, but Cormier is out in front. Back to back wins for Cormier. Noble, Noble Market suspended. Anything today in third.
grey jacket and red sleeves is uh, ahead of him and uh, more towards the running rail as now Melody of Life comes over to join the others. Beau Jardine is the dark jacket and pale sleeves against the running rail. Rebel territory in black and white is keen going alongside him. Further back to Sergeant Tibbs, uh, black and orange jacket. He's a bit keen as well. Maroon colours is Guru. Blinkers on the first time, uh, but he's been settled back in the field by Adam Kirby. And the light blue sleeves, Kieran Fallon on Echo Beach is at the rear as they make their way now already at halfway. And Isla Kai and the grey and red jacket got about a three parts of a length lead. Melody of Life is Oakley, Oakley. in second place against the rail then is Beau Jardim. Uh, Rebel Territory Black and White is just about level with him. There'll be a length and a half to Guru. who's about a neck ahead of Sergeant Tibbs as they move towards the home straight. Echo Beach is still at the rear of the field. They no! left for home just over two furlongs to go. Isla Kai continues to be the leader. Melody of Life in second. On the left is Beau Jardine shaken up to come with a run. Rebel Territory behind those. Echo Beach trying to close from the back of the field. Guru is next. I'm out of here, man. It's the last furlong and Isla Kai is holding him at the moment. Beau Jardine in second position. Rebel Territory is next against the running rail is Echo Beach is closing. They have a hundred yards to go. Isla Kai and Rowan Scott holding on at the moment. Guru is the last challenger but Isla Kai has completed the hat trick to Guru. Market suspended. And they're off and racing. Market, su market in play. A bit slow out of the gates. Likewise Desert Dreamer but Sadmar first to show. Uh, with Elard over on the far side. Elard is being tracked early by Hello You. Meanwhile, the four fillies in behind Sadmar down the middle of the track are Flotus, who's improving, but pulling hard. Oskul as well there, and just in behind those, we've got uh, Desert Dreamer and also Honey Sweet. Sandrine's last of the trio over on the far side. She's keeping an eye on the horse she beat at Ascot, Hello You, who's directly in behind Elard. So a really interesting tactical watch. They come well past halfway. Oakley, Oakley. Trying to make every yard of the running here. Flotus and Oscula both squeezed along down the near side. Desert Dreamos, white face going well behind them. Meanwhile, over on the far side, Hello no! Sondream on the extreme right as we look down the track, coming with her run. Elard seems to have weakened out of it. And they're right across the track. And this is wide open here. Hello you, Sondrine over. I'm out of here, man. Sondrine has taken the advantage from Hello You. Desert Dreamer still staying on strongly. Sondrine, the Albany winner. They're off. Market, market the in Hill. play. Summer Stakes Group 3 for the Phillies. And Ventura Diamond was slow to begin. Showing speed towards the near side is Mo Salita. She is leading the smaller group, but has the overall lead. Leading them over on the far side is Queen Kalua, just in advance of Dandala as they go through the first couple of furlongs. The overall leader near side is Mo Salita. Following her into the race is Dexter Bell and Final Song. Over on the far side, Queen Kalua and Dandala, the first two, declaring love and then light refrain. After that one, over on the far side is Vadrim. Oakley, Oakley. Being driven along. Ventura Diamond is outpaced at the back of the field as they race on now down towards the final quarter of a mile. And the leader now over on the far side is just Dandala. No! Taken on by light refrain and declaring love is also there in the vanguard. They're then being followed into the race by the dream who is staying on light refrain got first run the lead is I'm out of here, man. Wandering across in front of the dream who continues to stay on but is light refrain out in front a royal winner of the summer stakes light refrain wins very close second between market a race here a market in play a dark blue jacket is steadied by Rob Hornby and drops in to be the back marker of the quintet in the uh, first furlong. She's already the winner of the Best Turned Out Award. Uh, the silver colours, Basilicata, showing narrowly in front in the early part. Uh, Guinevar, a blue and yellow jacket running in second, although sharing second place now with Percy's Pride in yellow and black. A little wide of those is Garden Paradise in the white and red. She's only four-year-old. All her rivals are three, and she's very narrowly ahead of Goulois, who's just tucked in at the rear of the field. So they head them down near to completion now, the third furlong. And Basilicata, Andrew Breslin, striding along in front, best part of two lengths ahead. 
Percy's Pride against the running rail, Richard Kingscoat, a blue cap then for uh, Guinevar and Jason Watson on their outside. It'll be a half length further behind and running in third place as they turn now and head towards the final seven furlongs. There's about a length and a half behind those two matching strides. The darker colours, Goulois against the rails and the white and red jacket of Garden Paradise is up on her outside. So they run now towards the halfway stage. There's still only about four or five lengths between them. Basilicata, though, has been left alone in front and she makes her way down the side of the course leading by well over one length. Percy's Pride and Guinevar together in second and third places and then the Oakley, Oakley. cap red and white of Garden Paradise around the outside of the dark blue of Goulois as they head then now approaching the final half mile of the contest still only four to five lengths between them Basilicata continues to lead on the right is Guinevar in second position less than a length behind her though now as they begin to turn into the straight the yellow and black of Percy's Pride against the running rail Garden Paradise Luke Morris in white and red attempt Attempting to make progress. Gulwaza a left, oh! maybe a little bit more behind. She is now the back marker of the quintet as they move into the straight. And Basilicata, Andrew Breslin in front. Now, Percy's Pride and Richard Kingscoat get going in second to try and challenge. Guinevar is weakening now. As moving through into third position, one from the left is Gulwar on the extreme right. They're off. Market. So they Market in play. Needing a bit of riding along away from the gates to secure a decent early position. Hockfeld is the one to aim at ahead of Amtiaz. Hockfeld away very strongly indeed. The max we can and waters meet. So all the Johnson runners got away okay. Thrown halls up on the wide outside. The one throwing its head around a bit early is Hyanna. Getting some cover now, but not really truly settled. So on settling down, Hockfeld through the first quarter of a mile. Amtiaz was rushed up there and now sits uh, almost alongside. Arthurian Fables there and Volcanic Sky, the Max We Can and Throne Hall out wider. Meanwhile, Phalak is on the inside next to Hyanna and there in turn followed by Lost With Yell and East Asia. Waters meet now just in behind the Max We Can and alongside Lost With Yell. Prince Alex is one of those further back with Global Storm as they reach the end of the first half mile. A global Storm is followed by Rajinsky as they head towards the one and only turn in the race. Rajinsky has got Live Your Dream in behind, the white cap showing up right at the back end of the field under Asheen Murphy as they make that turn with Hockfeld now the slender leader. Hockfeld then will lead them into the turn and down the straight, the early stages of this long haul for home. Amtiaz in second place. Throne Hall comes next. Throne Hall followed by Phalak in the Max We Can and Hyanna who are all writing behind the leaders. Volcanic Skies, Red Cap showing up, traveling well as they approach the halfway stage with Lost With Yell and East Asia just in behind them. Out further back and slightly wide, both Rajinsky and Waters meet to the wide outside. They're both in behind. Ogly, Ogly. Fury and Fable, who's directly behind the max we can. Buried away is Prince Alex, being played late, clearly. Global Storm is also at the back and uh, champion jockey Ashin Murphy as cool as you like at the moment on Live Your Dream. Happy to sit last. Four furlongs now left to go, but they have grouped right up. In behind Hockfeld, who will try and hang tough and see them all off. Hockfeld's got Amtiaz, the Royal Ascot winner, right alongside. Phalax travelling well against the rail. Might have to angle out, though, ahead of Hyanna, who is now ridden along. And Throne Hall also being ridden along. No! Room for Lost with Yale, trying to make progress there with East Asia. Arthurian Fable and the rail runners seem to have the advantage at the moment. Not an awful lot coming from Prince. Prince Alex out on the very wide outside. That's where Live Your Dream is trying to challenge as well. But now Amtiaz and Holly Doyle go for home. New challenger from Global Storm. Over on the far side, Live Your Dreams trying to get there. Phalax effort was short-lived. Hockfeld's dropped away now as well. Live Your Dreams come from on the wide outside to take up a narrow lead from Global Storm and Amtiaz. Live Your Dream is... I'm out of here, man. Market suspended. Market in play. High class as the gates opened and also a Kalano was not that fast away. Showing good speed is Eternal Halo and she will take the early lead to the other filly, Jilly Cooper over on the far side. Bon Power races towards the stand side in third position. Hot High Class for the length and a half way is racing in fourth. The newcomer, Silky Wilkie, is in fifth, slightly outpaced, as is Ercolano, who is detached at the back of the field. Through the half... Oakley, Oakley. 
and it's still Eternal Halo who has the lead. Now about to be tackled by Jilly Cooper over on the far side, and these two fillies have quickened away no! from Bond Power. Good progress, however, on the far side from Silky Wilkie, who is really getting the hang of this racing game down towards the final. I'm out of here, man. And it is Eternal Halo who still has the lead. Silky Wilkie now to within a length of a half. Beaten in third is Jilly Cooper, but racing inside the final 150. They're off. So a mile and a Mark, quarter of the trip. Mark it come out in of the play. Repertoire, a little bit awkward and slowly away from the gates. As Fabley of the pink cap and data protection in the red and yellow of the first two to move through and lead. Passion and glory in the royal blue colours is next. There'll be length and a half, maybe a bit more than to the mainly orange of Naval Commander. The light blue of Without Revenge is alongside him. And there's almost three lengths there to the mainly white colours repertoire. Now the matter of Luke Morris who is at the rear of the field. So they turn, heading towards the last seven furlongs. And Data Protection, already the winner of the Best Turned Out Award. He's got about a length and a half advantage uh, with Nick Curry leading to Fabulous and Laura Pearson running in second place, the green, white and pink jacket. Then right in behind here is Ray Dawson, the Royal Blue Colors on Passion and Glory. Off to the right is Richard Kingscote on the light blue, or uh, in the light blue jacket without revenge. Naval Commander Jason Watson in purple and orange is next. And then Repertoire is a little bit slower than the others away from the starting stores is the back marker. They've got to halfway. This is a good three length lead for Data Protection who heads towards the home turn, moving along nicely in front of Fabulous in second. Doggly, doggly. Behind this to Passion and Glory running in third place. Then two lengths uh, to Without Revenge who's into fourth place and trying to get closer. Naval Commander is next and Repertoire is the back marker as they come now to the home turn and the final three furlongs. A slightly reduced lead but it's still a good two lengths for Data Protection. Yellow Cap moves into the straight leading. Fabulous in second place. Passion and Glory is in third. Uh, then the Orange Naval Commander making progress without revenge is last but one repertoire's the back marker hard rhythm the royal blue passion and glory ray dawson has swept through to the lead now with 300 yards to go goes on to family in second position without revenge is i'm out of here man moment. it's only for third and that is the order as they head inside the last furlong passion and glory is clear oh he's going way clear in the run towards the line in Bounce. play one of the great renewals of this famous race high quality from top to bottom and alcohol free wasting no time at all getting on with things over on that far side running rail to lead from pretty gorgeous and tracked by mother earth who's just in behind them with champers elise snow lantern the gray is buried away amongst them as well lady bothorpe is restrained this afternoon and prima baccio as well at the back of that main group meanwhile the others that started down the middle of the track have now edged right across and they're led by just beautiful the unbeaten filly just ahead of saffron beach and queen power lavender's blue in behind them with illicato and in the angel is just about last of all and now space at a premium in behind the leaders as they all bunch up on that far side running rail halfway is reached in the Tattersall's farm mistakes it looks a great race on paper developing beautifully as alcohol free is being joined by just beautiful saffron beach mother earth and pretty gorgeous still against the rail in fifth place snow lantern already thinking of trying to get an out queen power comes under pressure champers elise next primo baccio will need that acceleration she found at york lavender as blue comes next and followed by Lady Bothorpe in the angel down the outside Illicato has dropped tamely away on the action on the far side alcohol free still leading up here just beautiful's run a screamer but Mother Earth coming at her now then Snow Lantern down the middle of the track pretty gorgeous I'm out of here, man. Are next Mother Earth the guineas winner putting it up here to alcohol free with here Snow Lantern on the outside what a finish a race for the ages and Snow Lantern got there Market suspended. They're off. They race over six furlongs. Market in play. The green jacket of Tinto drops to the back of the field. One of the greys. Major Jumbo is the first one to show. The extreme ride is one night stand. He shows prominently as well. Ascot Adventure in the yellow colours of Jui Feng are up there. The best turned out winner, Bickerstaff in company uh, with Ascot Adventure. Then chairman of the board in the blue and yellow. He might even be third at this stage. On the left is Tinto with the black cap. There is Bernardo O'Reilly.
uh, the back of the field, Blue Mike Dark Shift is in company with Concierge. There's the last couple of runners. They come to halfway. Major Jumbo bowling along in front here by two lengths. Yellow Jack in second. One night stand in third. Bickerstaff switch to the right is next to him. The Nascot Adventure behind these chairman of the board. They head to the two markers. Still clear is Major Jumbo. No! Dazzling down about three from the left. A red cap coming into it. Bickerstaff on the extreme right is next. Chairman of the board is behind those. Coming to the last fell on Bickerstaff. Grandstand side right. I'm out of here, man. Here comes to take it up. Market. Market in play. Could jump from the gates, lent right and became briefly unbalanced. And Lamakina was slowly away. Dulas and Aquaman are the two who set the early tempo through the first of their seven furlongs here in the cash out at Bet365 Handicap. These two virtually match strides, although Aquaman now goes on from Dulas. Existent, a little free on the stand side of the group, coming through into a very close third place. No nonsense, trying to win over the trip for the first time. Another one taking a bit of a grip in fourth place. The pace doesn't appear to be too strong. Dancing in the Woods is further back. Roman Dynasty likewise, Inveigle and La Machina still continue at the back end of the field. Aquaman leading by one... Oakley, Oakley. They race on past the halfway stage. Aquaman from existent in second, Dulas and La Machina stand side. Right over on the far side is No Nonsense beginning his challenge. Dancing in the Woods is ridden along next. No! Roman Dynasty and Inveigles being asked very late in the day to try and pick up right over on the far side of the group. Aquaman leads them into the dip then. Aquaman out in front, chased by No Nonsense Existence, then comes... I'm out of here, man. ...a bit awkward. La Machina stands side. Inveigle not quite getting there as they race up towards the line. Aquaman with La Machina, the danger down the stand side. Aquaman and La Machina as they go to the line. Aquaman, La Machina. Followed Market by suspended. Dancing in the woods. Another close finish. Tight for the six. Let's take it on the freeze. Oh, that's close. I think this side's got there, Lamakina. It's very close. Time, the gradual slope in the leading group as they approach the turn into the straight. Knockout the box goes along in front, leads by about a length and a half. Cara Ray, the inside, Custer's mistake up on the outer. Between horses in the pale blue and red is the gradual slope, just behind them towards the outside, wrinkle in time. Ilmig tracks them towards the inside, Hurricane Alex is alongside as they rise at the first and continue up the straight. The green and red colours with the white cap. The leader in the early stages, Knockout to Bach and Luke Dempsey towards the near side. In second spot, the gradual slope, Mark McDonough. Cara Ray jumped to third on the inside for Brian Hayes as they continue on to the flight in front of the stands. It's the third. Knockout to Bach leads from the gradual slope, Cara Ray the inside. Custer's mistake just behind him with the nose band inside that one, wrinkle in time. And towards the inside of them is Ilmig, followed by Hurricane Alex and Dalvi. The black and purple of Brefney Brave. And to the inside of that one as they go to the turn is Dashing Scirocco. Then a couple of lengths break to Blackberry Jack. And behind them as they make the turn to head away from the stands is Tinton Fane towards the inner. Alongside Tinton Fane at this stage is Longhouse Force, a break then of a couple of lengths. To the yellow cap of I See the Moon. And behind them as they turn down the far side is Gala side with Frostfield and the final pair. As they start to run in the back straight. Lazy Susan and Sheer Bravado. They're heading for flight number four up to the stands. And out in front, Narcotabach leads by almost three Oakley, Oakley. Oakley. gradual slope second. Carrere remains close up on the inside. They're followed over it by Ilmig jumping up to dispute fourth spot with Wrinkle in time. Behind them, Dalby has made a little mistake. Custer's mistake is towards the uh, outside of that group and gone there. Custer's mistake, a faller at that. Custer's mistake gone at the middle flight on the far side. JJ Slevin on his feet as they go to the last of the three. It's four from home. Knock out the box, still out in front. Leads from the gradual slope. Carraray is a close third on the inside and they're tracked into the far turn. 
by Il Mig wrinkling down towards the outside Dalvey, right with them towards the inner having improved, is dashing Scirocco as they head across towards the straight. Still a good run before they reach the third last flight and now caught the bot leads. Carraray a definite second, the gradual slope is third, Ilmig next with Dalvey behind them wrinkle in time, dashing Scirocco towards the inside and then Hurricane Alex and behind Hurricane Alex is Brefney Brave. Up the straight they come, heading for the third last flight, now caught the bock over towards the inside, out in the centre of the course is Carraray. Away from it. I'm out of here, man. The extreme stand side, the gradual slope. Ilmig is coming to in the centre and over towards the inside, dashing Scirocco as they approach the second last. Now caught the buck on the far side. Ilmig in the centre. Near side is Carraray. Dashing Scirocco is just behind them as they head down with one to jump. Carraray stand side. Ilmig far side. They fight it out. They move on from now caught the buck. At the final flight, not much to choose between. Ilmig on the far side. Carraray stand side and they've drawn clear with less than 100 yards to race. Ilmig towards the far side will win it for Donna Myler and Jessica Harry. Market Siskit in play. Quite a level break towards the wide outside. Irv is showing very good early speed. Is right up there. Also from out wide, Redesde or Rebel. Moving through towards the inside rail is late arrival who's right up there together with the pale green of Chalet. And it is on the inside that late arrival and Chalet are now the first two with Just Hiss racing in third position. To the inside end zone, the light blue is in fourth with Swinging Eddie around. That one's outside the grey Zumarad just on their heels. Then on the inside is Alareg who's racing just in advance of Get Knotted and then the blue clothes of Cassio who's around the outside. Irv has been taken back with Duisenberg on the inside irreverent racing in midfield alongside uh, the, pale, uh, the pale colours of Tangled. Then towards the inside is Makine. We've already ridden along Redesdale Rebel towards the rear of the field as they doggly, doggly. down the home straight. La Rav is another one who's right out the back of the field. Also give it some Teddy has got a lot to do uh, from there and they're racing on now down towards the final two and a half furlongs. It's Chalet with Get Knotted on the far side together with Alareg towards the near side. Cassio is picking up and so too is Irv. On their heels then the great Zamarud followed into the race by Just Hiss. They're racing down towards the final furlong and it is uh, Chalet and Callum Rodriguez who have got the lead. Chalet to Zamarud. I'm out of here man. Side, Irv. Those are the first three. Give it some Teddy. Improving his daddy day. What wonders weave not far behind them. Two circuits to race, making the descent to go towards the two mile starting point. Who's got you now has picked it up from leading prospect. I love you now is in third and then daddy day. What wonders weave on the inside tracking the leaders is Bell's benefit going to flight number two. Leading prospect back in front of who's got you now. In third place is I love you now. Then Daddy Day and will you win? Bells benefit the inside of what wonders weave in the quartered colors as they clear the third flight. Behind those is Shannon Gray and Penny Candle. Hop hard and beam next. And then Enish Free Beauty. Continuing on with a good run to the fourth flight. Out the back. Racy Rita, also Ask the Boss Lady in Argenta. Flip-flopping leaders, who's got you now back in front of leading prospect, will you win? I love you now. And Daddy Day next with What Wonders Weave on the inside is Bell's Benefit. As they make the run back to their point of departure. The leader is who's got you now, Cohen Landers by a length to leading prospect Jordan Gainford in second and third place is I Love You Now and Dad O'Keefe and Daddy Day, the yellow sleeves, the outside of Will You Win? Right in behind them is What Wonders Weave, then Bell's Benefit and Shannon Gray and Penny Candle. At the end of a circuit, turning in for the flight in the straight, which will be five from the finish and taking them past the halfway stage. In the leaders, who's got you now? Tracked by leading prospect. On the outside, I love you now. And then will you win? What wonders weave? 
those benefit next with Daddy Day as they come up to pass a second time. Who's got you now has built up a good four length advantage over a leading prospect in third place is I Love You Now. Then will you Oakley, win Oakley. Those benefit in Daddy Day and What Wonders Weave? Shannon Gray next with Hop Hard and Beam and then Inish Free Beauty. On the inside is Racy Rita and then Penny Candle. Ask the boss lady and Argenta remains at the rear. Heading out on their second and final circuit with four flights left to jump. In front is Who's Got You Now? Being pretty much the leader from the outset. And second place is leading prospect, then I love you now. Will you win and Daddy Day clobber that one? Bell's Benefit next, then Shannon Gray, Hop Harden Beam. Struggling is what Wonders Weave has got reminders. And then Inish Free Beauty. Preparing this good run to the second last flight. And it's Who's Got You Now in front from I Love You Now, who's moved second on the outside. Oh! The leading prospect in Daddy Day and Will You Win, making a forward move is Shannon Gray. Bell's Benefit driven the inside of Hop Hard and Beam. And then Inish Free Beauty, Penny Candle, and weakening under pressure is What Wonders Wave. Lengthy run to the final flight, and it is Who's Got You Now still in front. Good three clear from Will You Win. And I love you now, close in behind, then Shannon Gray nudged along on the outside, then Hop Harden Beam and Bell's Benefit Inish Free Beauty, leading prospect has lost ground, then Penny Candle, and dropping away is Daddy Day. Heading for the home turn with one flight left to jump. And the Tom McCormick Memorial Cup mares maiden hurdle. And it's Who's Got You Now in front by two and a half. I'm out of here, man. In second. Then Bell's Benefit. Hop Hard and Beam stays on on the outside of Shannon Gray. Facing the final flight. And it's Who's Got You Now and Cohalanders in front. From Will You Win, Bell's Benefit stays on. And then Hop Hard and Beam over the last goes Who's Got You Now. Out in front of Will You Win, Bell's Benefit and Hop Hard and Beam. All battling out for minor money. Oh, love dream. Little rear from the Market store number two. In Be play. careful in the pink jacket from four was also a little slow into stride. As they get away, Fion in company with Mykonos St. John. And between those, uh, the chestnut with a red cap is uh, Casio goes through to lead. Extreme right is Crystal Cast with a nose band. And Global Esteem in black and yellow and red just precedes her. Soaring star in the beige is close up as well. On the extreme left is Love Dreams in the green and orange colours. Uh, then Bukefalus, the two Midland Park runners together towards the back of the field. Orange cap is Lexington Force. Light blue cap is Star Shield. Bonneval, it's a beige jacket, blue sleeves for him. He's probably about halfway down them now as they race to the final five furlongs. With uh, towards the right, Global Esteem, yellow star on the cap, maybe just in front. Fion in the grey and maroon colours. The grey and red is Casio. Bonneval, Oakley, Oakley. star and on the left, Love Dreams are right in behind those. Sir Plato, one from the right, the best turned out winners being ridden along. Bonneval, right in the centre, goes OK. Mykonos St. John, three from the left of the white sleeve jacket. Bukefalus behind these, then Star Shield and oh! in place. Crystal Cast making her way home extreme right and is getting into it now as they head down inside the last two furlongs. With Global Esteem to in second position is Bukefalus. Bonneval being slightly hampered there. Fion is one. I'm out of here, man. Mykonos St. John, the white sleeves over the far side as it's still Global Esteem and Alan Beach who are leading on them by leading by two lengths. Bonneval giving chase in second to Bukefalus and late home Global Esteem is getting a little bit weary. And in play. Together, secret in the park had a clattering together there with Charlie Fellows showing great speed is King of Stars over on the far side chased by Jelhorn, Han Solo Berger and Yimu and the favourite Twilight Calls in behind those on the far side rail fifth in that little group. Secret in the park still showing really good speed down the near side with Embor coming strongly into contention. Alongside Yimu now is Charlie Fellows trying to recover. Beyond Equal is further back in the field. Additionals under heavy pressure. Likewise Show Me Show Me. Oakley, Oakley. Way behind and Operatic is a distant last and on the far side rail King of stars tries to see it home but just look at twilight calls cutting through the no! field here beautiful gaps emerged looks like he's in the mood to take it as well twilight calls but a very gutsy king of stars on the far side rail takes a bit of part i'm out of here man clear. twilight calls asserting late in the day he's won narrowly but snugly twilight calls oh daton is the early leader secret secret close up on the inside they're followed 
As they begin the approach to this straight by risk factor, improving up on the outside is Offley Star with a white cap. Behind them as they approach the turn in is Rags Kitten and then Shamian. As they near the turn in, on the inside, Glor Daton with improving up on the outside now to dispute it is Black Pearl Johnny. They're just in front of Secret Secret and Risk Factor. Offley Star over towards the inside is Rags Kitten as they clear the first. Glor Daton in the red, white and blue colours led narrowly. Towards the near side is Black Pearl Johnny and they're tracked on to the middle flight in the straight number two. Secret Secret is in third spot with Rags Kitten towards the inside. Risk Factor jumped it in fifth. Taking a keen hold behind them, approach the city in orange colour. Shamian is towards the near side. Also in touch is Georgina Burgess as they come to jump the flight in front of the stands. Jumping into the lead. Black Pearl Johnny goes on. Shamian is improved up on the outside in the blue and yellow. Glor Daton is towards the inner. Between them, Secret Secret and then Rags Kitten and Risk Factor approach the city. The outside of that group is Offaly Star. A couple of lengths then to Georgina Burgess. Around the outside, Kasparenko, and between them is Ansberg. Behind them, Eye of the Dragon, the red and white of Stronghold, and a breakdown of a few lengths to One Hot Poet, followed away by Hanora's Dream. The black and orange hoops of Carol's Pride is next. And behind Carol's Pride, as they turn into the back straight, Seamus Darby, and the overall back marker is Ansberg. Heading down the far side towards flight number four, which brings them to the halfway stage. And going along with the length and the half lead, it's Black Pearl Johnny, with Shamian up on the outside, disputing Oakley, the Oakley. spot with Lord Daton. Just about two lengths away then in fourth spot is Rags Kitten. Secret, secret next, then risk factor towards the outside of Georgina Burgess. Improving between them approach to City as they jump the middle flight and Lord Daton jumped up to show narrowly in front. Shamian improves up on the outside, still there on the inside, Black Pearl Johnny. They're tracked by Rags Kitten as they go to jump the fourth last flight, a break after this quartet to Secret Secret approach the City. Georgina Burgess, the inside, risk factor is behind them. They're chased to the far turn by Nave Moling as they no! take the turn. That'll bring them across towards the straight. Lord Aton leads and goes on by a length to Shamian improving into second. Pushed along on the inside is Black Pearl Johnny and they're chased by an improving Rags Kitten towards the outside going third, but about four lengths off the leading pair. Nearing the turn in, Lord Aton leads from Shamian in second, a break then to Rags Kitten towards the inside, trying to make some headway on the wide outside is Risk Factor. Nave Mulling and Secret Secret, but away from the third. I'm out of here, man. Out in front, Lord the Ton leads, is edged on four or five clear. Shamian pressed for the second by Rags Kitten. A break then to Risk Factor in fourth spot, and then Secret Secret. Two from home, Lord the Ton over in clear. Rags Kitten second, Risk Factor has moved into third. Shamian four, and a break. To secret secret but down to the final flight in the cork race course that i made in hurl the odds on favorite Laura market in play in the center a pint of bear was away alertly a militia is also showing early speed dapper man over on the far side being stoked along to try and be prominent also right up there in the early stages is sun and sunny also queen of kalahari and then modular magic towards the rear of the field little muddy is one of the back markers cowboy soldier also towards the rear as they're racing already on towards the halfway point. Militia over on the far side taken on by Pint of Bear. Those are the first Oakley, two Oakley. teams. What and Dapper Man also over on the far side. Towards the near side Sun and Sunny together with Modular Magic and then Queen of Kalahari and then being driven no! by the is the Princess Poet who is trying to pick up so too on the near side with a noseband is T-Spirit. They're well, well inside the final furlong. It's James Watt. I'm out of here man. Bear. Now the first two international girl is beginning to fly. James Watt just has the lead over a pint of bear as they race up towards the line. James one on the far side, a pint of bear on the near side. Mark True fate close up on the outside. Henry Starr is in between horses with Ken Starr prominent. Coming to the first flight. Jumping this flight three times. Voice of Hope and Guard des Champ. Tracked by Henry Starr. True Faith and Ken Starr. These five have raced away from Dylan Lombardi, 
who is followed by Aiken Breaking Heart. Vermilion Cliffs is next on the outside his first shot. These are followed downhill by Lanziano and Bergentown. And how is he dizzy? As they make the run downhill towards the second flight. These are followed by Mr. Frontier. Facing up to the second, matching strides, a voice of hope. And Garde Deschamps, over three cleared of true faith, Henry Starr, Kem Starr, and Dylan Lombardi. As they go to the third, feel nicely strung out. Tailing off at the back of the field is the 10, Tiger Liam. Good run to the fourth, voice of hope. Sharing the lead with Garde Deschamps, then True Faith, Kem Star, Henry Star, Dylan Lombardi next. These are followed by Vermilion Cliff, Saken Breaking Heart, and Bergen Town, and Lanziano. Next on the outside is Mr. Frontier. Going away from that one, Voice of Hope, half a length in front of Garde Deschamps. Heading back now to their point of departure, then Henry Starr, True Faith, Kem Starr, and Dylan Lombardi, followed by Vermilion Cliffs, Aiken Breaking Heart, and Bergen Town, Lanziano, and Mr. Frontier. On the inside, how is he dizzy? At the end of a circuit, at the back of the field, first shot, and not so far detached as Tiger Liam. Coming back into the straight for the next flight, for the last one next time, and it's Voice of Hope, Keen Quirk, shifting on just over the length in front of Garde Deschamps, and then Henry Starr and True Faith, Kem Starr, Dylan Lombardy is next, as they come up to passes, a circuit to go, four flights left to jump. In front is Voice of Hope, but only just to Garde Deschamps. Henry Stoll, True Faith, close up third and fourth, and Kem Starr and Dylan Lombardy. These are followed by Aiken Breaking Heart and Vermilion Cliffs, a gap to Bergentown, and then Mr. Frontier Lanziano, how is he dizzy, and then Tiger Liam, and first shot. Little changes up front, heading to the fourth last flight, and still the same two disputing the lead, Voice of Hope and Garde Deschamps, three in front of Henry Starr and True Faith, Kem Starr, Dylan Lambert is next, and then Aiken Breaking Heart and Vermilion Cliffs. Heading to the third last flight, Garde Deschamps, orange and white on the outside of Voice of Hope, both jumped it well. Three, four in front of True Faith, and then Henry Starr, Kem Starr, and Vermilion Cliffs pushed along to try and make some impact. And then Dylan Lombardi and Aiken Breaking Don't! Heart. Heading for the second last flight, and Voice of Hope, Garde Deschamps, Closely attended by True Faith, and then Henry Starr, Kem Starr, Vermilion Cliffs is taking closer order, and then Dylan Lombardi, and Aiken Breaking Heart, and the winner will come from this group. Good round of the final flight, and it is Voice of Hope, Garde Deschamps, making three in a line is True Faith, and then Henry Starr who's losing a bit of ground to the first three, and then Vermilion Cliffs, Dylan Lombardi next, and then Kem Star and Aiken Breaking Heart. Heading for the final turn, one left to jump, Voice of Hope, Garde Deschamps. And third place is True Faith, and then Henry I'm Star, out of here, man. who's trying to stay with them in fourth, run the bend for the final flight. Voice of Hope and Keen Quirk holding on to a small advantage over Garde Deschamps. And then Henry Starr, who's plugging on with True Faith, and the leader is Voice of Hope. Racing into the closing stages, Voice of Hope from Garde Deschamps, True Faith, and Henry Starr. It's a race of firsts for Keen Quirk, who's made Mark. just a... As they make the turn to head across towards the straight. Close up in the early stages, Tis a Dream. Edges on, and goes on the length in front of staged engagement. Up on the outside, Zamond is disputing the second spot. Call for me, not far behind him. Get a life is up on the outside of Balting Glass Hill. On the rail as they approach the straight is General Claremont. But swinging in to, for, to face the first of nine flights, Tis a Dream over towards the inside, tracked by staged engagement. In the centre, Zamond near side the grey and red of Get a Life. The leading quartet as they clear that first flight and head up the straight. To flight number two, Tis a Dream going along in front. Get a Life 
is towards the near side in second, Zaman just behind him, and then followed by staged engagement over towards the inner. Not far off them, General Claremont in red and yellow towards the stand side, Col for me, Balting Glass Hill with the white face between horses as they jump the flight in front of the sands last one after another circuit. Tis a dream, Dylan Robinson on the inner leads, goes on by a length to get a life, Dara Davis in second, a break of about three then, to stage engagement. On the inside for Breen Kane, alongside in the quarter colours is Zaman JJ Slevin. Call for me up on the outside, Ian McCarthy, and inside that one, the red and black quarters of Bolton Glass Hill, James O'Sullivan. They're followed away by General Claremont on the rail, Kevin Broder, alongside that one, the orange and white of Well Funded and Philip Donovan. As they make the turn, it'll bring them into the back straight and on towards flight number four. Going along with a two length lead is top weight, Tis a Dream, staged engagement just second. Get a life alongside Zaman next, and then Balting Glass Hill, General Claremont, and well funded. Ricky Bobby is next. Call for me, nudged along towards the outside. Monatomic is in mid division with Yaya Baby towards the inside. And they're followed over this flight by Oakley, Master Oakley. Cornwall. Behind Master Cornwall is Gone Racing. Towards the inside of them, Rock on Shamey, and then Rich Belief. Tonkinese last but one as they go to the middle flight on the far side. How's the woman at the back of the field as they continue on towards the fourth last flight? Then a long run back to the straight. Tis a dream by over a length. Towards the inside, just second, is staged engagement and they're followed to the far turn by Zamond on the outside in the purple and yellow quarters. Making headway behind him is Ricky Bobby with well-funded next, Bolton Grass Hill, General oh! Claremont, Rock on Shamey is making headway. A couple of lengths then to uh, scrubbed along behind them is Master Cornwall, then Yaya Baby as they approach the turn in. Tis a Dream still leads, Zamond up on the outside between horses. In third spot is staged engagement, making headway around them is Ricky Bobby in blue and white and widest of all, Bolton Glass Hill. General Claremont is behind him over towards the inside, well funded, uh, is also chasing, but away from the third last flight, towards the near side, coming down. I'm out of here, man. Has headed stage engagement in the centre, towards the far side, tis a dream, General Claremont behind him, Rock on Shamey is staying on, but away from the second last, and Ricky Bobby goes on, a few lengths clear, staying on in second now, Rock on Shamey, stage engagement. Hey. Races apprentice handicap over seven furlongs, Marv goes forward. So too to the inside, Tan Fantic. Tan Fantic just about to have the lead. Candescence is pulling very hard on that one's heels with Marv around the outside. And as if by chance, those are the first four. Then Diamond on the Hill, who is racing in fifth. The Grey Wizard Damour around the outside of Mabdar as they make the dog leg turn back towards home. Blowing Wind is together with Outrun the Storm as they make the turn in. Already been ridden along is Twilight Prince who is struggling at the back of the field and last but one is Cosmos Raj and they race on now down towards the halfway point and it is Tan Fantasy Oakley, Oakley. lead over Marv racing in second. Wizard Damour is in third. Candescence already been ridden along in fourth as if by chance he's also been ridden over on the far side. Cosmos Raj is picking up one or two places so too oh! out wide is outrun the storm and they have a furlong and a half to go and it is Wizard Damore the Grey now looms upon the outside of Tan Fantic. between them is Marv Candescence has switched out one I'm out of here man together with Outrun the Storm well inside the final furlong Outrun the Storm on the near side takes the lead now for Billy Garrity and there's a race up towards the line it is Outrun the Storm Kit in play the first of nine flights Ratnaline 2 is the first to show in front Handy the grey pat coin on the left is Bloodstone. At flight one, Ratnaline two landed in the lead. Lochanila Og was caught in some scrimmaging three quarters of the way back. Ratnaline two followed by Chris Sorel, who's improved. Then Bloodstone Pat Coin. Capricorns on the outside and then final orders, followed downhill by Glen Robin. Just Be Cool next on the outside of Mick Charlie. And these are tracked to the second flight by Broken Ice and the Declaimer. Lochanila Og and drifting back. Luke Calum. 
brings up the rear over the second flight and quickly onto the third and Chris Sorrell has galloped some way clear of the field has really stretched them out Retinaline two second and Bloodstone Lochany Lano's jumping has left something to be desired has been knocked back to the rear of the field after some sketchy jumps Chris Sorrell clear from Ratnaline 2, Bloodstone, Pat Coyne, Kappa Khan, Glenn Robin next, and these are being followed by Final Orders and Mick Charlie. Cressorell over the next. Long way clear from Ratnaline 2, who hit it hard. Bloodstone is third, and then Pat Coyne. Coming back to the point at which they started, Pat Coyne's followed by Kappa Khan. Glenn Robin, final orders, McCharlie, broken ice, just be cool, the declaimer. Luke Calum drifting back, Lochanila Ove. Gone further away from the field is Chris Sorrell and Adam Short. Good 15 in front of Ratnaline 2, then Bloodstone, Pat Coyne, Capricorn, and Glenn Robin as they return to the point at which they started. Coming into the flight which is five from the finish, taking them past the halfway stage. Chris Sorrell, a long, long way clear from Ratnaline 2, Bloodstone, Pat Coyne, Capricorn. Glenn Robin next on the inside of final orders as Chris Sorrell reaches the flight below the stands. Long way in front of Ratnaline 2, Bloodstone, Pat Coyne, Capricorn, final orders, Glenn Robin, McCharlie to the declaimer, broken ice, just be cool, pushed along on the outside of Luke Calum. final couple, circuit to go, drifting back, Oakley, Oakley. Forward a jump. Chris Sorrell keeping up. A clear advantage with Forward a jump. Bloodstone is second. And then Pat Coyne. Ratnaline 2 is stopped quickly. Forward a jump. Chris Sorrell going to this next one from Bloodstone. The margin between the first and second has been reduced somewhat. And then Pat Coyne, Glenn Robin, final orders, Capricorn next. And then McCharlie, the declaimer, broken ice, just be cool. Drifting back, Lucadum and Lochanina Og. Ratnaline 2 has been pulled up. Making their way towards the second last, Chris Sorrell, all the while coming back to the pack. Pat Coyne and Bloodstone, no! two and three. Then Capricorn, final orders. And then Glenn Robin. Heading for the second last flight, Chris Sorrell with a greatly reduced advantage over Pat Coyne gone second and then Bloodstone. And Capricorn's gone into fourth and then Mick Charlie who's racing onto the heels of the leaders then Broken Ice, Glenn Robin, Final Orders and the Declaimer. These have broken away from Just Be Cool and drifting back. Pat Coyne has picked it up, Chris Sorrell. Is beating a hasty retreat on the inside. Then Capricorn and McCharlie is closing. Then Broken Ice, Bloodstone is under pressure. And then the Declaimer heading for the home turn with one flight left to jump. And it's Pat Coyne strongly pressed by McCharlie. I'm out of here, man. The Declaimer who is in with a shout. Then Capricorn, Bloodstone, Broken Ice shaping up for the final flight. It's McCharlie getting on terms with Pat Coyne. The Declaimer is still running on. At the final flight, Mick Charlie over in front from the declaimer on the outside with the last challenge. And then Pat Coyne, but it's Mick Charlie and Shane Fitzgerald pulling away. Market in play. Two circuits and 14 flights to jump. And King's Vow over towards the inside is the early leader. Close up in the centre, multifactorial towards the near side. Close is Son of Hypnos. As they negotiate the first and head up to the flight in front of the stand, they'll jump it three times in this three mile maiden. Over towards the far side, King's Vow, Son of Hypnos, near side. Followed over it by Multifactorial. Heroes of Renown is next with moving up towards the near side and edging into fourth spot is One's Enough. They're followed past the winning post by Sweet Scotch in the green and white hoop colours. As they make the turn, that brings them away from the stands with the long run before they reach Flight number three, the first of three in the back straight. And going along in front, King's Vow from Son of Hypnos, taking a keen hold up on the outside within the length of the leader. They're followed to the far turn by One's Enough up on the outside of Multifactorial. Sweet Scotch is next, and they're followed into the back straight 
by Spot the Looney in the green and yellow colours towards the outside. Heroes of Renown is between horses and towards the inner is Flurry Yates behind them. A couple of lengths to Champagne Monarch as they reach the first of the flights on the far side. Son of Hypnos is edged on. Goes on by a couple of lengths. Multifactorial jumps up on the outside. A mistake at the back of the field by Exquisite. As they go on to the fourth, King's Vow back up on the inside of Son of Hypnos, but Son of Hypnos with the advantage. Multifactorial is a close up third between horses, and they're followed on to the last flight on the far side by the halved colours of One's Enough. Behind One's Enough is Sweet Scotch, followed over that by Heroes of Renown. Towards the inside is Flurry Eights, and towards the outside, Spot the Looney. As they make the turn out of the back straight and head across the bottom of the track, King's Vow and Son of Hypnos separated by just about a length, maybe a little less. There are two lengths in front as they head across towards the straight from One's Enough, with multifactorial fourth on the inside behind them. In the red and white colours is Flurry Eight, and then Sweet Scotch. Towards the outside of Sweet Scotch is Spot the Looney. Followed into the straight by Heroes of Renown towards the inside with the cheek pieces as they head to the first of the three flights in the straight. It's number six this time. Towards the stand side, Son of Hypnos, over towards the far side, King's Vow. They continue to be tracked by Multifactorial in the Jig and Sound colours. Towards the near side, close up behind the leading pair is One's Enough as they jump to middle flight. Son of Hypnos, stand side led. King's Vow over towards the inner multifactorial, one's enough. Sweet Scotch is next, followed to the flight in front of the stand by Flurry Eights and Heroes of Renown as they jump this one and come up to pass the judge about to embark on their final circuit. Ogly doggly! The width of the track between them, Son of Hypnos stand side, King's Vow on the rail. Multifactorial remains close in third with to his outer, one's enough, and they're followed by Sweet Scotch, Heroes of Renown towards the outside of Flurry 8, a break of a few lengths then to towards the outside spot the Looney, improving and that one's inner is Champagne Monarch in mid-division ahead of Believe That in the red, they're followed away by Kalanese Dove towards the inside, alongside that one is worth presenting as they make the turn that brings them into the back straight behind that pair as they head up the far side is Getaway Chivy in the green and white colours Towards the outside, Motion in Limine. Just behind them, with the red cap, is Smash the Lamp and the final trio, the grey, is Silver Barrel, just ahead of Wasdale Park. And at the back of the field, as they jump the first flight down the far side, is Exquisite. No! Continuing on, they have five to jump. Son of Hypnos. Keeping to the outside, King's Vow towards the inner multifactorial right up there between them. Sweet Scotch on their heels in fourth. Couple of lengths then, two heroes of renown trying to improve on the inside of One's Enough. Also in touch as they go to the fourth last flight is Flurry Yates. And up on the outside, Champagne Monarch, a break then. To the remainder as they go into the far turn, making headway behind that group is Wasdale Park. As they turn with about five furlongs to race, a good run to the third last flight, and as they turn, multifactorial, but going up on the outside to edge ahead now with Sweet Scotch. They're chased on the approach to the straight by Kings of Out driven along, Son of Hypnos still right there on the outside, One's Enough and Heroes of Renown on their heels with Champagne Monarch and behind them, trying I'm to out of here, man. towards the inner is Flurry Yates and also making headway. Behind them is Wasdale Park as they head up the straight, nearing the third last. Son of Hypnos towards the stand side, led narrowly, multifactorial in the centre. King's Vow still over there towards the far side. Heroes of Renown is trying to stay on between horses. But heading to the second last, Son of Hypnos tackled by Heroes of Renown. Over the far side, King's Vow, multifactorial is just behind them. Staying on behind them, Wasdale Park with the noseband. Down to the final flight in the three miler, and Heroes of Renown has come through to take over. Goes on from Son of Hypnos, behind him staying on well is Wasdale Park. It's Heroes of Renown in the lead from Wasdale Park, behind the multifactorial, but here on Market in play. On the Rudy. A fairly ragged start with Susilus in the nosebound drop right out at the back of the field as they travel up the viaduct side of the track. A Prexology with a green sleeves prominent, Salam Zed on the inner. 
Garden Oasis orange cap is caught wide, taking a while to work over, but prominent. And Fieldsman with a striped sleeve rounds out the leading quartet. Break of a couple of lengths then to Salam Zed in the dark blue and ready races in fifth position, followed a further two lengths away by a Quisitor in the red, white and blue. And there's a slightly bigger break. It would be three or four lengths to Defence Treaty, a further four lengths to Pope Gregory and two lengths away. The nose-banded Susilis is last of all and would be a good ten lengths off the leader Prexology as they go through the halfway point. So Prexology sleeves against the rail narrowly. To Garden Oasis, the orange cap and Fieldsman up between them. Salam Zed in a grey jacket's got a handy position as the leaders begin to concertina inside the three. Right behind the leading quartet's last no! in the red and blue travels well, needs a bit of daylight. So to Acquisitor, who's up the fence with the blue cap. Defence Treaty in the claret and blue is in touch. There's a break then to the other two. And Praxology steadied things down, passing I'm the out of here, man. And kick as they come inside the two. Zlatan has found a bit of daylight. The dark blue sleeves and is moving up to chase the leader on down the straight towards the last furlong and it's Zlatan who's forced through to take over here Acquisitor's got a seam through on the inside throwing down a stern challenge defense treaty short run to the first of eight flights is followed by hot my heels this shows on the outside of Millie's might I've done it all the parts of the first onto the second corner cover is racing on ahead of Millie's Might, Hot My Heels, Vicio. It's all Grace's next and then Navano. Making the run towards the far point of the track. Sarah Cavan is up from her tumble. Corner Cova out clear of Millie's Might, Hot My Heels. At the third flight, Corner Cova with the loose I've done it all. There's a little distraction as they prepare now to make this lengthy run back to the fourth flight in the straight. Corner Cova with a reduced advantage is steadied back to the pack. Field preceded by the loose horse, then Hot My Heels, Millie's Mike Vicio, Senorita Medor, and then it's all Grace, and these are followed by Moiler and the Killeens Novano at the rear of the field. Is missed on the bog. Turning in for flight number four. Corner Cova has re established. Five length advantage over Millie's Might Hot My Heels and then Vicio. It's all Grace and Senorita Mador. Loose horse out of harm's way for the time being. Corner Cova is followed with a circuit to go by Millie's Might and Hot My Heels, Vicio, It's All Grace, Senorita Mador, Novano, the Killeen's Moiler and Mist on the Bog. Finishing next time, four flights left to jump as they return to their point of departure. In the lead Oakley, is Oakley. Kova and Mike O'Connor, now by six lengths to Millie's Might, top weight Ryan Tracy. And third is Hot My Heels and Mark Walsh as they approach the fifth flight, which is four from the finish. As they've passed halfway, Corner Cova with a slightly reduced advantage once more from Millie's Might, Hot My Heels, Vicio, It's All Grace, Novano, Senorita Mador. The Killeen's Mist on the Bog relegates Moiler to the back of the field over three out. Corner Cova has been hurtling fluently throughout is followed by Millie's might Vicio's taking closer order no! with hot my heels this quartet covered by two and a half lengths Navano's moved into a closing fifth and then it's all grace Senorita Mador not turning too well there was missed on the bog and then the Killeen's and Moira at the second last corner Cova from Vicio, who's gone off in pursuit, then Millie's Might, Novano, Hot My Heels, Mist in the Bog, is trying to come into it from the back of the field, and then it's all Grace, the Killeens, and Senori de Mador. Heading for the home turn with one flight left to jump. I'm out of here, man. It's just Corner Cover from Vicio, coming there in the check colors, then Hot My Heels. 
Nirvana on the inside of Minnie's might, and then mist on the bog, the Killeen's in its all grace, homeward bound, one to jump. Corner covers pressed one from the rail by Vicio, four in front of hot my heels, then Nirvana and mist on the bog, straightening for the final flight, and Vicio and Danny Mullins have struck the front. From long-time leader Corner Cove, and then hot my heels at the last, Vicio over a couple of lengths in front of Corner Cove, a gap to an... Saka. In fact, Sovereign State was slow, slowly away. He's been completely left at the starting stalls. Uh, also, uh, slowly away was his Saka. Good start, though, down the centre of the track from Kodiak Attack. Also, there is Tom Hawkridge, Bellavade, the favourite. Pretty prominent as well in the yellow and black. Then up to Girl in the headgear towards the left as we look at them. Uh, that one is followed through by Wildflower as Saka towards this side. Over on the far side, Blue Ventures sitting around about fourth or fifth of the far side group. Aquadabra there as well. And Giovanni Tiapolo is just trying to latch on. Down towards... Ogly, the ogly. Half furlongs and inside them now. It's Bellavade over on the far side who just about leads to a driven along Kodiak attack in second. These two, Aquadabra tries to stay on. Then the green sleeve of Blue Venture over on the far side. They're then followed by the stripes of Tomahawk Ridge. Inside the final furlong they go now. Bellavade hits the front, but just hanging across the track. Blue Venture is getting a I'm out of here, speed. man. Inside the final half furlong now. Blue Venture the far side. Bellavade the near, racing up towards a wire. Blue Venture going on to win. The leader is Glory for Molly, with rain in Spain up on the outside, sharing second spot as they straighten up with She's Some Doll, as they head down the far side towards the first of their 12 flights. Going along with the lead a little over a length is Glory for Molly, rain in Spain just second. And the check colours of She's Some Doll in third spot as they jump to first, improving behind them towards the inside is Abby Shore in the maroon and white. Towards the outside, in the early stages, on the heels of the leaders, Tar Queen's Glory, and with them is no doubt about that as they stream out over flight number two and continue to the last of the flights in the back straight. In the lead, Glory for Molly, tracked in second by She Some Doll, Rain in Spain, Abby Shore, followed by No Doubt About That, Tar Queen's Glory is on the outside and behind them as they make the far turn is China Princess towards the inside. Alongside China Princess is Eva's bow. As they continue on the approach to the straight, flights four, five, and six ahead of them before they pass the stands, and Glory for Molly leads by about two and a half lengths. She Sumdal continues to track in second. In third spot, another two and a half lengths back is Rain in Spain, followed by Abby Shore. Tar Queen's Glory is up on the outside, no doubt about that, and China Princess next. Beat of the Sea is towards the inside as they make the turn that brings them into the straight. Heading on to flight number four. Towards the far side is Glory for Molly in the lead from She Some Doll second. Rain in Spain landed in third spot with alongside Abby Shore. And they're followed up to the middle flight by no doubt about that in the red and white. Tar Queen's Glory not far behind them towards the outside Eva's bow as they clear this one. And head to the flight in front of the stands. Out in front, Glory for Molly, Kevin Broder, going along in front of She's Some Doll and Luke Dempsey. A break of a few lengths then to rain in Spain in the red and black pole town in near side. Towards the inner Abbey Shore, JJ Slevin. And they're followed up in front of the stands by the red and white colours of no doubt about that, Jack Foley. Near side is Tar Queen's Glory, Michael O'Sullivan, towards the inner. With the white cap, it's beat of the sea, Ricky Doyle, as they head into the turn, followed by China Princess. Towards the inner of China Princess is Breezy Bell, to the outer is Eva's bow. Followed around the turn by She's the Right One. Ogly, ogly. Inside, alongside She's the Right One, is So Near So Far, and between them is Wild Atlantic Lady. Last but one is Sweet Sixteen, and that's Life Boy. At the back of the field as they turn, having completed the circuit, they're on the, their way to flight number seven. The first of three down the far side, and Glory for Molly continues to show the way. She's some doll. Retained second spot about two lengths off the leader. Rain in Spain is on the outside, a close third, and they're followed to this flight by Abby Shore towards the inside, no doubt about that, with them Tar Queen's Glory. Then China Princess beat of the sea with them is a breezy bell as they continue on about 10 lengths covering the field as they go to jump the middle flight on the far side five from home glory for molly got in a little close the lead is down to the rain in spain towards the outside of she's some doll they dispute second spot 
Tarquin's glory is just behind them, with no doubt about that. Peter the Sea makes headway the inside. Slight mistake there by an improving Breezy Bell. As they head to the turn out of the back straight, Glory for Molly still in the lead, closely followed by She Sumdal. The checks on the inside of Rain in Spain. Just behind them, no doubt about that. Tar Queen's Glory, the outside, trying to make headway the inside is Beat of the Sea. Between horses is China Princess, nudged along as Eva's bow. As they near the turn in, less than half a mile to race, Glory for Molly, with Rain in Spain up on the outside to dispute it. Looking for a run around the inner. I'm out of here, man. Some dull. As they straighten up and head for the third last flight, spread across the track. Rain in Spain towards the near side. No doubt about that. Trying to challenge in the center. She's some doll still there over towards the inside. Wild Atlantic Lady has come there. Beat of the Sea is behind them over towards the extreme far side. And China Princess is staying on down the stand's rail. Jumping to second last. Rain in Spain leads by a couple of lengths. She's some doll second. No doubt about that. China Princess from the back staying on the blue and white so near so far but down to the final flight rain in spain is four or five clear jumps it well good battle on for the miners but on the run in novice stakes roman dragon got a bright start pale blue colors for jane elliott leads them as they go into the turn and racing keenly under restraint derarin beginning to work over from stall four the green and white for oliver stammers tracking the leader and then river pride the yellow cap for pat dobbs in third and black echo a welcome return to action after injury for Barry McHugh, racing in touch after a slow start in fourth place. So approaching the halfway point, it's a well-grouped uh, quartet that are led by Roman Dragon, with Derer in sitting at his quarters, and then River Pride on the inside. Oakley, Oakley. So slightly being hemmed in by a black echo. Swinging the turn, two and a half furlongs to go. Derer in comes under a bit of pressure, and Roman Dragon is still rolling along happily in front, it would seem, as they no! come inside the two. So heading to the top of the straight, Roman Dragon now shaken up in front. Dererin still within a length and a half. Now River Pride Yellow Cap gets a bit of daylight. Black Echo is I'm out of here, man. On down towards the last furlong. Still Roman Dragon in front. Dererin beginning to get up ahead of steam down the centre. River Pride is back in third and then Black Echo. Roman Dragon has made every inch. Dererin not getting any closer. And a second course and distance win for Ro Eight, Maria Francesca's prominent with sand and water, go back on the inside. These are followed away from the first by Tags Island, not far behind them, Beach Mount Maisie. As they've jumped two, good run to the third. Sand and water has picked it up from Maria Francesca, go battle, Beach Mount Maisie, Tags Island. Secret Sea next on the outside is Where's Bunny. These are tracked by Still Alive. Hitchcock next, and they're followed to flight number three. On the inside, Port Luna, held up as the keys not to panic. In the lead is Sand and Water by under a length to Maria Francesca, Go Battle, Beach Mount Maisie. And then Tags Island and Secret Sea in mid division, the blue and red jacket, and they're followed by Where's Bunny and Still Alive, Hitchcock and Port Luna. The key is not to panic, the back marker making the run to the straight first time where they will meet flight number four. Sand and Water and Connor Maxwell in front of Maria Francesca. In third is Go Battle, then Beach Mount Maisie at clear fourth. Secret Sea on the outside of Tags Island and Where's Bunny and Still Alive. Hitchcock and Port Luna, the key is not to panic. Flight number four and the final flight next time, Sand and Water just jumped off to his left, but leads a good three lengths. Maria Francesca, Go Battle, Beach Mount Maisie, Secret Sea, Tags Island, Where's Bunny, Still Alive, Hitchcock, Port Luna. Bit of a break to the keys, not to panic. Four flights left to jump as they head back to the point at which they started in the sand and water, joined by Maria Francesca. Three Oakley, Oakley. To Go Battle. Beach Mount Maisie continues in fourth, and then Secret Sea, Tags Island, Where's Bunny, Still Alive. Final three at Hitchcock, Port Luna, and the key is not to panic. Reaching the fifth, fourth from the finish, Sand and Water from Maria Francesca. Beach Mount Maisie joins Go Battle for the third, and then Secret Sea in fifth. Where's Bunny next with Tags Island? Making the turn towards the second last flight. 
And it's sand and water continuing up front with Maria Francesca, the pair of matching strides. A length and a half back to the next pair. Secret oh! Beach Mount Maisie and then Tags Island. Where's Bunny? Dropping back on the inside is Go Battle and then Still Alive and the key is not to panic over two out. Maria Francesca landed in front from Secret Sea, who's gone into second. Sand and Waters drop back on the inside of Beach Mount Maisie and then Tags Island. Where's Bunny? Still alive. The key is not to panic, is trying to pick up ground. Heading for the home turn, one flight left to jump and it's Maria Francesca in front, stalked by Secret Sea. And then Tags Island, Beach Mount Maisie. Where's Bunny? I'm out of here, man. Still alive. The key is not to panic and fading away is Sand and Water. Racing for the final turn, one to jump. Maria Francesca gone up on the outside on the quarters of the leader of Secret Sea and then where's Buddy? Being followed by Tag Island and still alive. Racing for the final flight, Maria Francesca. From on the outside is Secret Sea. They land together, then where's Bunny? Inside the final hundred yards. Nothing between Secret Sea and Maria Francesca. And where's Bunny on the line? Where's Bunny? Has got up to color. Market suspended. Como é pessoal? Como é que foi esse dia? Aqui depois de ver aqui as corridas, tive aqui a dar uma analisada nisto. Senti o dia muito, muito difícil. Este? É este? É este? É este. Uh, senti o dia muito difícil. Tenho aqui muitas corridas perdidas, acho eu. Tenho ideia disso. Muitas corridas perdidas. Senti que andei a pôr imensos leis porque principalmente para o final do dia, estava a ficar difícil, ficar difícil de fazer trade e depois a maneira mais fácil de fazer trade é pôr leis, porque aquilo é, sai muito em piloto automático, enquanto os backs eu tenho que tentar andar ali a perceber onde é que é de pôr, a ver como é que dá o cavalo, muito, muito mais difícil, porque tenho muito mais medo de perder em back do que em lei. E assim acabei por pôr, acabei por pôr alguns leis, Acaba por ser mais, não sei, acaba por ser mais instintivo já para o passado. Acaba por ser mais instintivo meter um lei quando estou cansado. A exigência mental é menor do que andar a pôr backs. Por isso, não é muito o que se pretende, mas vamos ver, <risos> ver se consigo mudar. Ou continuar, é que às vezes mesmo fazendo uma pausa a meio, fica um bocado duro para o final, principalmente se o mercado estiver muito difícil. Mas pronto, foi assim. Foi 40%, 42% da banca inicial. Vamos ver agora se no sábado consigo chegar ao patamar dos 100 euros. Ao patamar 4. Para ver se consigo levantar 50 e começar a usar stakes, stakes de, de 5 euros e começar a estabilizar lá. Era bom. Gostava de estabilizar na banca de, de 50 com 5 euros porque julgo que seja mais fácil para dividir o dinheiro. Já que quando é as divisões, como se for dinheiro muito, se for apostas muito pequenas, acaba por ser muito difícil, porque aquilo acaba por, por demorar muito tempo a dividir. E se for com 5 euros, muitas vezes a divisão já é com, com acima de 2 já é acima de 2 euros e acaba por ser mais fácil, mais rápido. E acaba por perder menos dinheiro das privetes e assim. Por isso vá, portem-se bem, aproveitem o fim de semana e aproveitem o sábado, provavelmente vai ter muitas corridas. Fiquem bem.